Hola a todos, ¿cómo están el día de hoy? Espero que se encuentren muy bien. Yo siempre muy feliz y muy agradecida de poder estar con ustedes. Today, actually, we're going to do something different. We're going to uh, do an explanation of the four types of por qué in Spanish. So, are you ready? Let's see. Um, now, I show this topic because actually uh, with my students and also in the different platforms, I always have this question and people say, like, but why, Maria? Why in Spanish have to be four ways? I mean, it's two separate, one with accent mark, two together, one without accent mark, one with accent mark. So what is this? Why it has to be so complicated? Well, you will see by the end of this video, then it's not really that complicated if you know the reason. Si tú sabes el por qué. Also, this video is obviously for you that you are learning Spanish, but in case you are a native speaker and you also, si eres hablante nativo de español, y si también te preguntas por qué, por qué hay cuatro formas, cuándo tengo que usar con acento, cuándo tengo que utilizarlo sin acento, para ti también es este video. So, we're gonna start first with the first case. What is it? Por qué? separate and with an accent mark con acento. Now, this case is when we ask, it's for queries, it's for interrogative uh, sentences, okay? So, por ejemplo, ¿Por qué no estudiaste para tu examen de español? O ¿Por qué no estudias español? It's a direct question. So, in this case, it's gonna be separate and you're gonna have an accent mark on okay, K, of course, okay? Now, when I mean direct question, because you can also use it in an indirect questions. Uh, example, uh, no entiendo, no entiendo por qué no estudias español. No entiendo por qué no te suscribes a nuestro canal. No entiendo. <laughs> okay? I'm still wondering. I'm still asking you. Okay? But from an indirect way, in an indirect way, in an indirect form. So, When it's interrogative sentences, questions, you know you're gonna not use por qué separate and with an accent mark. Now, the other case is gonna be por qué with an accent mark, as you can see, but together. Now, in this case, it's like a noun, noun. it's like un sustantivo. Es el motivo, la causa, the, uh, the cause, the reason of, okay? No, uh, and it goes really well with the like L, en los, ¿ok? Eh, with the articles L and los. So, you can, like, el por qué, los por qué, replacing basically el motivo, the reason. But let's see it on a sentence. Let's see an example. No entiendo el por qué de tu respuesta. No entiendo el por qué de tus acciones. When I'm saying that, basically, basically I'm saying, no entiendo el motivo de tu respuesta. No entiendo el motivo de tus acciones, ¿no? De tu comportamiento. En este caso, vamos a utilizar el por qué. It goes really well again with like el, with the article el por qué, o um, like uh, los, ¿ok? El los. So, in this context, uh, is go, uh, as you can see, together and with an accent mark. Causa, motivo. Okay, that's the second case. Now, the third case is gonna be por qué, all together, as you can see, and without an accent mark. So, uh, many people can say, yes, Maria, I know that one, I know that one. Of course, it's the one we use a lot, because that is basically, to say, uh, like in English, because of, okay? When you give the reason, when you're uh, answering an interrogative uh, question, when you answer, Uh, a query, you, you gonna use por qué, together and without an accent mark, okay? So if we go back to the first example, por qué no estudiaste eh, para tu examen? I can tell you, with all together, telling like that, you know, because of this, no? Porque me dio flojera, okay? That's, that's the reason, you tell me because of this, I didn't study. O por qué no... Eh, no entiendo por qué no estudias español. Porque tengo mucho trabajo. No tengo tiempo. ¿Ok? So you're telling me, ¿ok? The reason. You're telling me, uh, uh, basically, because of this, because of this, 
is why, uh, you know, uh, answering your question. So to answer questions is going to go together, okay? ¿Por qué? And without accent mark. Now, the last case is, is um, I don't want to say complicated, but uh, to explain is, it can be really technical because it can work with, uh, you know, with like uh, the opening of a, another sentence or it goes a lot with a subjunctive form. So it's like uh, we're introducing another phrase, okay, another context. And it goes a, a lot again with this uh, subjunctive form, okay? So it can go for like uh, in cases and situations, like for example, brindo porque es brindo porque este año nos vaya mejor. O voto porque este, este, esta clase tenga mucho éxito. So it goes so well with all these wishes and also with this, um, oraciones subordinadas. Okay, so it have to. It's really not that related, as you can see the other examples, with a context of like because of this or like why or like uh, asking for something. It goes in a different context. However, in this case, it's gonna be like this. It's gonna be porque it's gonna be separate. Okay, but it's not gonna have any accent mark. Uh, we're making soon a video about uh, oraciones subordinadas and also about the subjunctive when I can explain a lot more this case. If I go too in deep into now, it will really confuse the other forms. And I think the other ones are extremely clear. This one, as you can see, is in a different context, very far uh, actually from the other form. I hope that this video was helpful for you. I hope that you like it. I hope that and if until this point you still not subscribe to our channel, subscribe button, and I will see you again in the next video. Ciao, ciao.